What's going on YouTube? My name is ADC Art Attack. His name is Bob. And Jess, Larry, and Sally are still here. Today's video is a special, very special one. After all of this time of coloring in coloring books, two years, I think now is the right time for me to create my own. But to further make this even more exciting, I have some big news. On October 7th at 3 p.m., I will be featuring on Marvel's Twitch as part of a live stream celebrating the eighth anniversary of Marvel Puzzle Quest. A mobile and Steam available game that is an absolutely great experience as it features many of your favorite Marvel characters. I do enjoy playing this game myself and if you would like to join me over there then there'll be a link down below in the description to download this game. I highly recommend it. It is a really fun game and it will give you a little bit of an insight as to what the event is about. Now I'm not gonna tell you what it is I'll be doing over on the Marvel Twitch. You will have to tune in on the live stream October 7th. Mark it in your calendars. I'll be there, so will you. I'll see you there. <laughs> Back to the video. <laughs> So why am I creating a coloring book? Well, over the past few years, I have become known for coloring in children's coloring books. I have so many episodes on it. So I figured, why not? Why not create my own? Even though I have no idea what I'm doing. Now the entire creation of this coloring book will be brought to you here on YouTube as part of a series, whereby you the viewer are going to be able to decide from many areas and directions we take for this coloring book. From areas such as the title of the book, the amount of pages we have, the styles of the characters, the colors, the format, the line work, you are going to be able to decide every aspect of this book before we put it into production. So keep an eye out for those YouTube community posts where I will be putting questions to you for you to make your decisions as well as during the videos where I will give you options and you can leave your choices down below in the comment section. Now naturally this coloring book is going to be centered around Bob, our channel mascot, but I think we need more than just Bob. You can come up on my lap then. Oh, there you go. That's right everyone, Kiva is going to have his own official character inside this book. We're going to be creating his official character here today. <laughs> This is going to be pure chaos, isn't it? Okay, so I've been having a little look online and I've researched a few things that I need to keep in mind when I make this coloring book in regards to the sort of style of the book that I need to have, whether it's going to have a spiral coil or, you know, it's, it's, what are they called? Staples? How many pages I want to have, I got to keep that in mind. I got to keep in mind the page size. There's so many factors that I got to keep in mind right here. Um, but I think what we're going to do right now is just focus on the main two characters, Bob and Kiba. So what I'm going to do right now is begin sketching out some of those designs. We'll do a few of them and we'll see where we stand from there. Shoo. Good timing. <laughs> Let's begin. Hi. Oh man. All right, so I started by creating two styles of Bob's parts, giving him two bodies, one with a larger lower body, which is more reminiscent of the earlier designs of the character that I had, if you remember them, which were heavily influenced by ducks, like actual ducks. The second one has a larger upper body. Now this is more akin to heroes. It's a slightly more muscular and flexible body type in terms of dynamic art ability and definitely one that I'm a little bit more familiar with. And the reason I'm doing these two designs like this is I want to see what design fits Bob. Now I'm not going to be grounded into one design because he will change throughout the pages of this book and there will be varying designs of him. But just to get something going I, I sort of want to see what fits best. I can't decide whether fingers are a thing but I 
probably will go with fingers for a more convenient path later on. Feet? Yeah, no. N no toes. So the next step is to draw up two quick designs. Now this isn't to see how they look, it's to see how they feel. How I feel drawing them, whether they're comfortable or not. And the more rounded body was nothing special. I wasn't really feeling inspired or completely comfortable if I'm honest. I wouldn't say it was difficult to draw. It's actually quite an easy style to draw with, but it just, I, I, I wasn't feeling inspired here. Whereas with the more, I guess, muscular body type, this definitely felt more suited my art style. And I feel like there's more opportunities to be had here. So for the next step, I want to create the full bob using this muscular body type and we can then really see how it looks. Honestly, once I added those dark shadows, yeah, not a not a bad design. Naturally, like I said, throughout this coloring book, there will be multiple models of this character, but okay, it's not bad. It, it's, I, I like, I do like it. I, I like it. I think. Do you? But okay, let's give Kiba his makeover. Gotta try and get a photo first. We gotta take some pictures, man. You wanna, you wanna pose? Say, um, okay, okay, Kiba, say, cheese. Say something. Oh God. Okay, so getting a photo of Kiba just, that, that was, that was difficult, but here, this is an old photo I got. <laughs> now, the first thing I want to do is similar to what I did with the Bob style, which is to try and figure out a, a sort of base design. How do I want to build upon the design? Do I want to go for this detailed approach with all of these fur features and stuff? happening or do i want to go for a more simplistic style where i massively reduce the amount of fur the details and it's hard to tell now because i haven't added any color but this one would be a more i guess two-dimensional color whereas the other one would have more 3d comic book style coloring i think for today's example i'm gonna try to mirror off of the bob drawing we just did so yeah high detail black ink only see what happens
So, we have two of the designs done, with Bob on one side looking like a superhero, and we have Kiba on the other side looking like a... a superhero. I got a thing for heroes. I guess you could probably tell what the theme of this book's gonna be. Whoa. Now, of course, these were only first drafts, so when I do finalize them in a future video, they will look better. Hopefully. And if you aren't team buff, Bob, I guess? Don't worry, in the coloring book itself, there will be variations of each of these characters, so maybe there'll be something you'll like, which we will complete together in a future video. And of course, your very important question of the day, are you team Bob or are you team Kiba? This is a very important question. Leave your answers down below in the comment section. Now, today's video served the purpose of being an introduction to the idea that I will be creating a coloring book, but I didn't want to leave you without any artwork, so we created the two drawings here today. What I'm going to be doing next time is using the designs that we've done today to create a full cover page. But we are going to do several of them and you... Shut up. And you, my viewers, are going to have the final say as to which one of the choices I give you will make it to production. This is going to be a very exciting episode and I am really looking forward to it and I hope you are too. I will see you in the next video. Till next time, take it easy. That was a... Uh... Now I gotta do that one again. My name has been ADC Art Attack, his name is Bob and we look forward to seeing you all again in the next video. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? All right, there ain't no way I'm doing this with the neat version, but there's one thing I forgot to do. Okay, Kiba, very important question. Very, I, okay, good. Kiba, okay, very important question for you. <laughs> what do you, what, wait, wait. <laughs> what do you think about this? Do you like it? it it's you. <gasps> he, he gave it a kiss. You can have it. Wow, my work got rejected by a dog. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, you don't like Bob, do you? I love you. Kiba. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Oh, yeah, it's a nice. Oh, the kiss. Oh my God, oh no, Bob. <laughs> Hello! That's right, we are going to be making a official character for Kiba. And he will feature... Yeah. Trying to bite me. That's right, every... <laughs> what are you doing? He is so needy. Oh my gosh. Stop biting. Stop biting. Look, the people can see you. <laughs> no, you can't. No! Oh. Disgusting. He's eating my keyboard. How lovely. Good boy. Stop stealing my stuff. Uh, can I record the shot please? I need to record my, I need to drink my tea and record the shot. Don't be so difficult. Okay, don't hurt Larry. I should have waited for this to cool down, right Kiba? But I'm gonna blow my tongue off, here we go. Still hot. I could have just something with a glass of water. It doesn't have to be a real tea, does it? I'm so British. I made a real tea for this two second segue. <laughs> that is just too hot. There. Scratching my desk to pieces, dog.